Hi there. Welcome to the practice questions on being able to identify factors, multiples and prime numbers. What I'd like you to do now is pause the video and then have a go at the two questions we've got here. There's one on this page. Turn over the page for the next one. And then when you're happy with your answers, then restart the video and go through the model answers with me. So pause the video now. Hi, welcome back. Let's go through these two questions then. Question one, it says identify from the following list of numbers. Got a list here, a prime number, factor of 36, a multiple of five. Okay, well, a prime number is a number that can only be divided by itself and one. Can't be 100, that can be divided by lots of numbers, 10, 50, etc. Can't be 6, because that can be divided by 2 and 3. Can't be 15, that's divided by 5. 25 also is divided by 5. 9 is divided by 3. 12 can be divided by 2, 3, 4, 6. 2 can be divided by only itself and 1. So 2 is a prime number. 30 is not, can be divided by 5 and 10, etc. 7 can only be divided by itself and 1. So the prime numbers there are 2 or 7. Second one, part B, a factor of 36. A factor is a number that will divide exactly into another number. So we're looking for a number that will divide into 36 with no remainders. There's the first one, 6. 6 into 36 goes 6 times. There are no remainders, so 6 is a factor of 36. 15 goes twice, but there's remainders. 25 goes once with remainders. 9 will go into 36 four times, so 9 is also a factor of 36. 12 goes into it three times, so 12 is a factor of 36. And 2 goes into it 18 times, so 2 is also a factor. Last one, a multiple of 5. Well, a multiple is a number in the times table of that number. So if we do our 5 times table, we'll find the multiples of 5. 15 is a multiple of 5. 25 is a multiple of 5. 30 is a multiple of 5. And so is 100. Okay. Question 2. Same type of question, identify from the following list of numbers, a prime number, a factor of 42, a multiple of 7. Prime numbers, remember, can only be divided by itself and 1. 17 is a prime number. 7 is a prime number. And 3 is a prime number. Question uh, B, factor of 42. Factor is a number that goes exactly into that number without any remainders. 8 goes into 42, but there are remainders. 12 goes into 42, there are remainders. 20 goes into 42 with remainders. 35 will with remainders. 17 will with remainders. 7 goes into 42, though, 6 times, no remainders. So 7 is a factor of 42. 25 goes into it, but there's remainders. And 3 goes into 42, but there are no remainders. So 7 and 3 are the factors of 42. A um, good way of working out whether 3 is a factor of any number is adding the digits together. If you add the 4 and the 2 together, it gives you 6. Because 6 is in the 3 times table, we know that 3 goes into it and is a factor of 42. It's a good way of remembering that one. And the last one, a multiple of 7. We're looking for numbers in the 7 times table. Can't be 8. It's not 12. It's not 20. 35 is in the 7 times table. And you could actually say 7 is in the 7 times table as well.